Meet Darlene, leader of Reliable Tube. With her great big smile for everyone and her never give up attitude, she is truly the heart of this dynamic company that began right here in Atchison in 1989. Of course, Darlene's story started a little further back than that and a little further east in Estevan, Saskatchewan. This small town girl was the second of four children, the daughter of a preacher and a homemaker. I welcomed her home with my parents uh, from a newborn baby who was actually very sickly at the time. And we didn't know it. She had a problem with her stomach and she had to be rushed to Winnipeg, Manitoba. Drove her straight through my dad to get her there for emergency surgery or she could have died. Thankfully, Darlene survived that close call. Happy and healthy, surrounded by her strong family, she was on her way. Darlene was always a very easygoing child. She was very smart. She was very uh, scholarly. Growing up, Darlene worked hard and embraced a strong faith. At 17, she met her future husband, Joe. Both would say it was love at first sight. A couple of years later, they were married. As their young family grew, Darlene worked as a bookkeeper. And as for Joe... He'd worked for many companies and worked hard and they became successful and then they were sold. And he decided, if I can do this for other people, why can't I do it for myself? I'm going to try. And even if we can just scratch out a living, we'll be very happy. From that commitment, Reliable Tube was born. Launching the business in the shadow of an economic downturn really took a lot, though. It wasn't always easy. You know, life isn't always easy. We went through some tough times, but we tightened our belt and we made it through. Fortunately, Darlene and Joe persevered in the face of challenges. When Joe and I first started the business, honestly, we had bare bones. We, uh, everything was secondhand from our little tiny trucks to haul steel. And I remember one time Joe was hauling steel. He would go out and sell steel. He would come in, load the truck, take the little truck out, and he would do it after hours if somebody would let him deliver. One time he got home very late. He called me and he said, Dar, I had to unload the truck. It was too heavy. I loaded it too full. I've unloaded it in the ditch in the snow and I'll just deliver half the load. And I have to take it off by hand. And next morning he got up early and he went back to that ditch and he loaded all the steel. It was still there, loaded it by hand and took it. And I think he took it to Supreme Steel. And um, that's very, it was very interesting that our little trucks wouldn't handle what he wanted to ship out. And now we have huge big trucks that can handle big loads of steel and deliver it to our customers. And um, it's been a big transition just thinking about where we've come from the little little places to some larger things and uh, it's it's been it's been great reliable tube is a family business and we chose to do that because we wanted to provide for our kids and our grandchildren for the future we were hopeful that some of them would eventually like to be involved in the business and we're thankful that several of them have been involved in the business over the years and still are involved i am son-in-law to darlene uh, I got married in 1995 to their daughter, uh, Jody. I wear a few different hats around here and I, I do what I have to do to keep the company running well. In addition to providing opportunities for their growing family, Joe and Darlene were fortunate to work with many good people who became just like family. I've been with this company for 31 years. I started in September 1992. We have done in my opinion, extremely well over those years, but we worked very, very hard with all the staff that we'd acquired along the way. Uh, we opened in Edmonton with the first warehouse. We then opened in Calgary. We built another warehouse in Edmonton. Then we built one in Cambridge, Ontario, and another warehouse in Whitby, Ontario, yes, and uh, fully stocked warehouses and serviced. And then we bought another warehouse here. I've been the accountant for Joel and Darlene and their reliable tube companies uh, since 1990. And it's been a privilege to work with both of them and their lovely daughters, lovely and kind daughters, Jackie and Jody, who also work in the business. The business was doing well. 
but it wasn't the only focus for Darlene and Joe. They had other passions, namely helping others. They've given back so much to the community here in Edmonton, especially by Darlene. She's embraced the downtrodden in the inner city and children where she's given substantial donations to Santa's Anonymous. You know, it's pretty special, pretty remarkable. And the Reliable Charitable Foundation of Hope, which I've been privileged to be part of on the board of directors since 2006, has contributed so much to the community in Zambia, helping orphans uh, initially, all orphaned by the AIDS epidemic. And these children have excelled and gone on to bigger and better things. The Reliable Charitable Foundation of Hope that built the facilities and the, the houses to help these people have contributed so much to the local community. That was a passion of Joe's and mine to be able to do something outside of our business that would, I won't say change the world, but it'll change 700 children maybe to change their world. And uh, yes, it has been a real passion of ours and thankful that we have been able to have a village of hope which consists of schools from grade one to 12. It has a lovely clinic, which we were told will never happen but we opened the clinic to the approval of the Zambian government. And they see unbelievable 1,500 to 2,000 people a month. And so it is amazing. It's been a great asset to the community and to our village of hope for the children and the people that work there. It's, um, yes, it's our passion. It's our, um, what we're working for and towards. She's a, a giver and a doer and just a quiet angel around the corner ready to help someone. Loyal, committed, faithful, generous, loving, accepting. She rocks it. <laughs>